I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to talk about reports, and specifically uh, reports that need to run some kind of code or actions before they open. And uh, this is something that's very common that uh, engineers need to handle when they're doing their access uh, deployments. And so um, having a way to run some code or to run a macro uh, just before a report opens so you can adjust some things or record some things is something that's very handy. So without further ado, let's get to our report open function in Microsoft Access. Okay, so I'm going to start this demonstration with uh, some tables that we've seen before using a file that we've used in a couple of other uh, demonstrations. And I've got some candy objects here. I've got a candy table that has some candies in it. And uh, I've got a candy event table um, that has nothing in it at the moment. Um, except for a few fields to capture when events happen, kind of like a log file. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to create a new report using the report wizard, and I'm just going to grab that candy uh, table that we saw, and I'm just going to make the most basic, simple report that you could think of. I'll grab those fields, and maybe I'll take the ID too. And uh, what this is going to give us is, I'm not going to put any groupings on it or anything, but I'll add a sort to it, um, add a, you know, a second sort on candy name, just choose the defaults here, and then I'll call it candy underscore uh, report, and uh, that's going to, um, that's going to give me a basic report, you know, just a simple list, a printable report um, that has all of our information on it. And we're going to pretend that this is some big, you know, corporate report that you need to have some things happen. You know that you need to have some things happen before it opens. And maybe in this case, we want to grab our event table and we want to record that the report was opened. Uh, or you could have some other actions like you need to run some update queries or something before this report runs. And that's really what report open is really good for is you can do that stuff. So there's there's my uh, report object down in the, the bottom left there and you can right click and go to design view. And uh, so this is just a basic report and, and if you click in the gray area outside of all the others then that's going to give you the properties for uh, the report itself. And uh, what we're going to look for is we're going to look for the on open um, of, of the uh, report and we're going to Click on the ellipsis and then take the code builder, and uh, the code builder is going to automatically create this uh, private sub uh, subroutine report underscore open, and uh, and you'll see that it has uh, has an argument there for cancel, which we'll talk about in a little bit um, after we sort of do a basic demonstration of what we can do uh, with the uh, with the report open um, the on open function. So. Basically, um, uh, what we can do here is we can do just about anything we want. So I could have a message box pop up before the report opens, um, you know, and I could, you know, have some kind of information in a pop up to warn the user about something or anything that you really might have um, to do with, you know, opening reports. So now if I go and I open that report, you'll see, oh, there it is, you know, opening, the candy report is opening, so, or you could have any message in there. And that would really sort of show you uh, how, how handy and how easy it is to put some commands in there. And so that's a nice little demonstration of sort of like a simple thing that you could do. So like the simplest thing, so if we go back to our design of our report, and we can see that now there's an event procedure in there. You can also put a macro in there, by the way, if you have a macro that you made and you don't have any coding, but you've just got a macro. Um, we're using VBA here, but um, definitely it's not limited to VBA. Um, so in this case, maybe I want to log that the report was opened, or I want to do some updates or something like that. Um, so I'll do a simple update here, and I'll just say, 
you know, here's my database, here's my, my record set. I'll, uh, you know, <clears throat> set my record set equal to the candy event table. Um, and uh, we'll, do, we'll do a basic update here. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll say, uh, you know, uh, rst.add new. And oh, actually, I think maybe I'll go and I'll use, uh, I'll use a with, uh, with a statement here. So this is handy when you're going to use the same object over and over again. So you can say with rst, and then you can just say dot add new dot this dot that. In this case, I'll use exclamation and put the field name in, and I'll say the event text is equal to Jim open the report, something like that, or whatever. You could have some kind of uh, text in there. And then you could uh, put a date in there too. I'll just put now in for our for our date. And you'll notice that I'm not using a, a dynamic SQL string here. I'm actually using kind of uh, using the the DAO objects to avoid that. So I could have all kinds of special characters in there and stuff. So that would work. And also it would be uh, safer than just running a statement with uh, concatenated values in it. Um, so there you go. I'll put a dot close on it too because you always want to close your your record set when you're done updating it. And then you, sometimes you can uh, you can put uh, set the RST and DB equal to nothing. Um, that'll release a little bit of re resources there. And there you go. We've got our report open object, and we've got now we've got uh, not you know we don't just have a message box popping up. We're actually saving like a log entry. Um, so now if I close that <clears throat> and I'll save save the uh, save the changes and uh, and I'll close that and now that that's closed I can just go and I can open our candy report just as we did before and you'll see it just opens as if it was normally opening uh, but if we check that candy event table um, now we can see oh look there's uh, there's a log entry in there that somebody opened it open that report and so you can use um, you can use the report open for things like uh, logging and stuff which is uh, useful but it's also very good for um, like if you need to do some data updates just before something runs you know so if I run it again you see there's another entry in there so in this case Jim's the only guy around apparently because he's hard-coded in there <laughs> but uh, uh, you can see that's how that report works so yeah every time I open it um, there's going to be a new entry in that log table that's going to show me that somebody was in there. Um, like I said, it's also very useful for, for doing, you know, a big append query or an update query, delete query that you need to, you know, do some data modifications that happen just before that report opens and then the report will open with the modified data. So that's one way of doing it. And then just like we did before, you might want to you know, add some kind of message to that after, you know, it's been logged or whatever, uh, or update. If you did some updates in another, you know, in other tables or something, you could say update completed before the report opens or, you know, or whatever. Or you can give users, uh, you could say, put a yes, no message box there too. You know, we're not sure this is ready, you know, uh, are you sure you want to open or something like that. You can do all kinds of really uh, good things there. So, so like if I do that, <clears throat> save that, and uh, and then open the report again, um, you'll see that the uh, that now it's going to do that update, and it's going to give a message uh, about what you want to do or something like that. Now, the next thing I will look at will be the you know what you might be wondering what that cancel uh, argument is in there. Um, so there's a cancel argument. Well, that's also very helpful because uh, you can do some kind of lookups here in your database, like maybe something isn't ready or somebody hasn't said their data is ready, and so they have to set a flag or something like that. Oh, my typing's terrible here today. I'm trying to get, there we go. So um, I'm going to add a new variable in there. I'll just call it the status. You know, as if you looked something up, I'll call it you know, string status, and uh, I'll, I'll just say that is equal to, you know, ready, you know, um, and then you could see down after you do all this logging stuff, you could, um, you could check that 
you know, that status that you did a lookup on, um, <clears throat> you know, to see if this report is actually ready, like, because, you know, if there, maybe it won't be accurate until everybody put in their data or something like that. Um, so you could say if, if the uh, status is not equal to ready, um, then you could do, you can set cancel equal to minus one, which is true in, in, uh, in VBA. And uh, so you can, uh, that's going to set that argument. And so it'll stop the report from opening. So all this code is going to run, but the report's not going to open. Um, so now if I, you know, in this case, I've, I've said that it is ready. So there you go. Everything operates like normal and, you know, candy event gets a new, gets a new row in the event table saying that somebody opened it. Um, but if, if we go back and we set that to not ready, um, then we can, we can cause that to, to set the cancel argument equal to minus one. And, uh, and now if I save that and I run it, um, you'll see that um, now it's gonna, you know, it's not gonna run. So if I double click that, try to run the report, like nothing happens. It seems like nothing happens. The logging happened in the background, but the but the actual report, I double click it several times. It does not open, and uh, uh, so in that case, you may want to go back and add some feedback to the user. Um, I would say, you know, add a, like a message box or something, and uh, and and that'll say, hey, you know what? Um, oh, actually, it'd be better to put this up above. I think um, the uh, cancel statement there or cancel equals minus one. So, so you could say before you cancel the report, you could say, you know, report not ready. Um, and, uh, you know, that's going to give some feedback to the user that uh, it failed. And, and this is very, very handy for your, when you got lots of users in there and, you know, report has to be, all the data has to be in before they can look at it or else it's going to screw stuff up. Um, now when we run it, it says, hey, you know what, that's not ready when I double click that and it stops the report from opening. And that's very, very handy, uh, handy <clears throat> thing to do. And that is how you use the report open uh, event in Microsoft Access. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use the report open function in Microsoft Access. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. And uh, click the bell when you see the bell. And if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.